What is up, MMA fans? This is StudioLeonteforShortDog.com, and today I have the pleasure once again to talk with the prototype, Mr. Jake Collier. Hello, Jake. Welcome back on Short Dog. How are you today? Doing good, doing good, man. How about you? I'm fine as well. Uh, how we are recording this interview early in the morning. How has your your day begun? Good. It's uh, actually nice here in Missouri. So uh, the weather's like 70 degrees outside. So it's kind of beautiful, actually. <laughs> uh, that's good to hear. Um, we're also speaking, uh, sorry, we are speaking uh, a few days after Easter. Uh, did you have the chance to celebrate it if you celebrate it in general? Yeah, I mean, the kids got, you know, they went to church, the in-laws and did the Easter egg hunt and stuff. So that was kind of cool. The only thing is they got a lot of candy in here and on. I've been trying to not to eat it all. <laughs> but I mean, for you, weight shouldn't be a, a problem, right? The the heavyweight limit, at least. Yeah, I just I still try to eat pretty clean, though. Try to stick to a decent diet, at least. Yeah, well, I understand that perhaps you will have the chance, you know, to treat yourself after your upcoming fight with UFC, for actually former UFC heavyweight champion, Mr. Andre Alorski. Uh, you two will collide on April the 30th. Um, how has your training camp been so far? Uh, it's been it's been pretty rough. We uh, brought in a lot of bigger, like super heavyweight guys, um, big guys that make me look small it's been pretty brutal but it's been really good I mean, i'm in phenomenal shape and may i ask a few of the names you have uh brought to train with um there's a kid uh he's a local guy. His hair his name's harrison i'm not sure his last name but uh really good greco wrestler big guy um trained with a guy last night uh ronald coleman he's a um young and up and comer um out of uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, that kid's gonna be that kid's gonna be good, man. He's he's a freak athlete. Two hundred ninety pounds of just athleticness and muscle. He's he's really good too. Two hundred and ninety. Yeah, he's a big boy. Wow. <laughs> and he's like five ten. <laughs> wow. I mean. Uh... Okay, and uh, uh, we discussed uh, the last time we discussed. Uh, you made some adjustments in our in our training camp, and uh, I'm guessing here that your training camp evolves from time to time, uh, from each fight to to the other. Oh yeah, absolutely, and it was it's kind of nice uh, coming out of the camp, not really getting out of shape, and then jumping right back into another training camp, and it's really just made it pretty easy. You know, I didn't have to like restart getting into shape. You know, we just took off where we left off and it's been good it's been real good who is going to be in your corner for this fight my head coach patrick smith um and uh, my wrestling coach chris pullman my normal guys so um andrea Loski has been fighting since forever uh, let's, let's put it like this uh, may i ask you your expectation for this fight what do you expect from him uh, coming into your next fight? Um, I, I really see the, the he's gotten real smart when he's gotten, as he's gotten older, his last three or four fights, he's, he's really been smart and not brawling and staying on his bike, you know, moving really well. And uh, I see the same thing, you know, him, him being smart, long, technical and moving a lot. Uh, so we're going to try to cut him off and get in his grill a little bit, you know, uh, I feel like that's really how he's changed, and he's really evolved with it. I mean, that guy, he's really changed his game up as he's gotten older. I mean, he's still growing. I think he's i think he's still getting better at, what, 42, 43 years old. And uh, I think he's going to move a lot and stay, you know, on his bike and try to stay long and keep me at bay, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally agree with you that he evolved so much uh, over the years. Uh, that that being said, originally you were supposed to face Justin Taffa for uh, this fight, but I heard your opponent pulled out. Uh, do you happen to know why did he uh, pull out? Uh, they just said he got an injury. That's all I was told. That's, uh, that's all I know. And I was like, it was like a month out, roughly, when I, I got called and said he got hurt. But they said 
bad news is he's hurt. Good news or lossy, it's up to the fight. I said, all right, then. Well, I guess we keep moving forward. And did the fact that your opponent changed uh, throw you off uh, a little bit since you have, you already started your training camp? Yeah, it was a little different because Tafa's obviously shorter and he's a lefty. But, um, you know, we're already in good shape when we found out. So we just kind of switched a few things up, switched some combos up and started attacking in a different process, you might say. So it wasn't too big a deal and it wasn't too close. I mean, we both have a month to prepare for each other roughly, you know, so it's not too bad. Uh, the last time we spoke right before your clash with uh, Chase Sherman in January, on that occasion, you defeated your opponent via rear naked choke and pocketed a much deserved performance bonus. Um, but how do you comment that victory? I really, man, it was just all the training. And uh, I literally told my coach, my wrestling coach, before we walked out there, I was like, man, if he throws a sloppy kick, I'm, I'm probably just going to take him down and work, work him over there. He's like, well, if the opportunity is there, and boom, it was about a minute in, you know, there it was. And um, it was a good win for me. He chases tough, man. He's he's fought everybody. He's fighting tonight, actually. He's he, he's filling in. I think uh, Bozer got hurt, so he's filling in. I mean, the dude will fight anybody. He's a gamer. So that was a good win for me. I was happy with it. Um, were you expecting, I mean, of course you are expecting to win that fight, but were you expecting to finish your opponent on that occasion? Uh, not like that. I didn't think I would choke him really per se. I, I thought it was going to be more of a striking battle. Um, but once I got, got him to the ground, it was my control was, I felt very dominant there. So, um, just started working him over and I seen the opportunity with the choke, so I took it, you know. And it was quite a victory. After that win, the UFC offered you a new contract. Is that right? Yes, I signed another four or five deal. Um, we talked uh, uh, in our interview about fighters pay. Uh, I don't know if you recall that, but still, uh, my, my question here for you is, are you satisfied with uh, your new position uh you, you know with your your new deal with the ufc right now oh yeah i am i mean i might be a little bit different than a lot of people you know i don't need to have you know five hundred thousand dollars a fight or something like i would love that absolutely but you know i'm not i'm not really slinging in that kind of money but i live a pretty simple life so i'm making enough to make me happy and does the new deal allow you to train and provide for your family without too, too many worries? I'm asking uh, since, you know, we talked about you had another job, you know, in addition to, to training. That's why I'm insisting on, on that. Let's put it like this. Yes, now it is. I actually, with this new contract, I actually will feel like financially stable. Like I really do with this new contract coming, you know, having um. I don't feel like I have to stress and worry about, oh, man, how am I going to pay my house payment? Or, oh, God, how are we going to pay the electric bill? You know, it's, it's a lot more comfortable. And also, you know, I mean, they resigned me. I want to prove to them that they resigned me for a reason. You know, I, I want to show them, like, I belong here and uh, the money they're paying me is worth it. The card on which you're fighting is headlined by the clash between Rob Font and Marlon Vera. Uh, I would like to ask uh, your pick for this fight. Man, it's a tough one. I like both the guys. Uh, I'm going to go with Vera just because I think it's a, it could go either way, but I'm going to go with Vera. And what about a prediction for your fight? My, I see a second round TKO. That's what I'm, I'm going to go with. That's fair enough. Um, have you already picked your workout song? Uh no, no, not really. I don't guess I have. I've a couple of my guys have been asking me about that and stuff. Asking me what song I'm walking out to. We we kind of been jamming out to a lot of old rock and roll, so I might come out to something like that. Okay, that's. We'll have to wait to hear your choice, um, <laughs> <laughs> Jake. I finished my questions. Uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message that you would like to share with us today? I just want to give a shout out to all my chaining partners and my wife, man. Uh, they've really stepped up and been there for me. And uh, I've slimmed down quite a bit, mainly just because uh, 
really just been eating super clean and stuff. My manager actually hit me up the other day and asked me, he's like, you all right? You look like you're slimming down a lot. Everything cool? And I'm like, I've just been eating super clean and training hard. Just want to give her a huge shout out for always cooking me some good food. And appreciate you having me on, man. I, I always appreciate talking with you. Uh, best of luck with your upcoming fight. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time today. And hopefully I'll hear again from you in the future. Absolutely, man. Have a nice day. Good luck again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.